and it became clear that, pleased as he was at playing well, the sad events of the last fortnight have brought some aspects of his life into sharp context. I used to go out and think, I must have a good game, because otherwise I'm going to get slaughtered. I've got the stage, it doesn't matter what I do, I'm still going to get hammered. And so I don't even bother about it now. Um, and especially in the events of what happened in the last ten days with Lady Diana now, that is just, now it means nothing what they write anymore. Nothing whatsoever, and I just go out and relax and play me football. And if the slaughter is the slaughter, if I don't get picked, I don't get picked. Just come out under us, In some ways, do you feel as though Glenn Hoddle showed a lot of faith in you? In some ways, do you feel you're now repaying him for that? Well, I'd like to think so. Um, you know, I still think I can do it. Um, just the, the little injuries that I do pick up, and I cannot help that if I'm going to get kicked. I got kicked in the South African game, and I got kicked in the Poland game, and I cannot get away from that. I have to go for the ball and I get kicked and I get injured. Um, but he's, you know, the press tried to put pressure on me. And um, Glenn was great by sticking by me. And I appreciate that. And I just like to think I replayed him a little bit last night. I can't sit back and just think, oh, I enjoyed that game. That's me. No, I've got to go to Italy with the rest of the squad. Um, perform well for my club. Then just get selected again. And uh, we've got to go for a win there. We can't sit back and... Kind of go for a job because if we do that, we'll get punished. Alongside Gascoigne in England's 1990 World Cup side was his close friend Chris Waddle. And Waddle is of the opinion Gascoigne still has much to offer. The good thing about for the country is that for us to, for England to get there, is, uh, you know, people have been trying to say he's not a centre midfield player. And, you know, it, it, must, it must obviously damage him and say, uh, hurt you inside because uh, I know what the criticism's like. And uh, I'm just really pleased. Um, that he keeps going through it. And, uh, you know, people don't realise the lifestyle he's got and the pressure he's under, but uh, he calls through very well. Do you see a change in Paul? Yeah, he's about two stone heavier. <laughs> 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 um, no, of course I do. I think, he, as you said, he's an old man now. And, um, no, he's not old, and he's an experienced player, and people don't realise that. They still think of the lad we saw in 1990, and uh, he's still got the ability. In fact, he's, he uses the ball probably better now than he did then. Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. He's going to be out of the final if England get there. What does the World Cup finals mean to you, Paul? It means a lot. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the 1990. I thought it was um, an incredible experience, especially for my age. And obviously, I was helping along. And not just seen this with the likes of Chris Waddle, um, Peter Shilton. The Teddy Butcher, the players at Brian Robson, Gary Lennon, the players that were along with us. I missed out the 1994 with, with my me, me broken leg, but the lads didn't qualify as such. But this one is, um, it'll mean a lot for us. And, uh, you know, to get there, we just sort of, like I said, well, we've just got to get the one point against Italy. Um, but it means a lot to everyone. And if we do get there, then I'll, I'll be telling the guys what's in stake for everybody, you know, especially the experience. You're an elder statesman now, aren't you? Uh, that's not exactly. I'm one of the old men now. <laughs> Probably the oldest, apart from Dave Simon, Ian Wright, Paul Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thanks, Thanks very much. Cheers. See you. Let's hope we see him in Rome in the same form. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't change your personality. All he can do is, is control it. He, two weeks before the final start, it'd be 31. He should be at his peak. He's shown he's got the ability it's now up to him. Well, it's isn't, in his head. isn't football all about taking chances? And Glenn's given him a chance, and he's clever enough to know that there aren't that many more chances left. It's got to go out in a high. Well, it's his last World Cup fight, yeah. really. At 31, you, you know, four years down the road, I can't see Gazza playing at 35. Mm. So it's, it's up to him. We all wish him to use that as a stage yeah, to show exactly. what he's capable of.